Here at Manchester University, a team of Egyptologists are studying a 2,500-year-old mummy. An endoscope is going to be pushed up its nose to show me how the Egyptians treated the brain. Carefully. As we enter the nose, go up the, through the nasal septum. How extraordinary. It's like going into some sort of hidden cave. It is, isn't it? It's a secret world, really. We would normally be stopped from going through there because of the bone that would separate the brain from the nasal cavity. We should be there. Yeah, we should be there, of course. Right. And so now you're actually entering the skull. Yes. Ooh. That's a sort of the suture in the top of the head, isn't it? But there seems to be something missing. Uh, yes. yes, there's a brain missing. How extraordinary. Did they not see the brain as important? They recognised that the brain controlled some of the bodily actions, uh, but they certainly didn't think that the individual personality was located in the brain. So they removed it and discarded it. So you just took it and chucked it out? Yes. <laughs> it shows certain contempt for what we regard as one of our more important organs now. Absolutely, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs>